Hello, kia ora, I'm Philip Duncan, and thanks so much for joining us for our Monday update for May the 29th. This week is dominated by windy westerlies. Next week, we could have a big southerly blast coming through for King's birthday weekend. Let's have a look and see what is going on. High pressure, the main feature on our map out to the east. Low pressure down here in the Southern Ocean and the southern part of the Tasman Sea. And we had that squash zone last night, the windy weather between that high and the low that moved down through Northland, Auckland and other parts of the Upper North Island with that rain, which continues to move southwards. And behind it, the winds turn from northeasterly to northerly or northwesterly and that will produce a few afternoon and evening thunderstorms and downpours around the North Island. But this westerly wind here, that's the main feature really over the next week ahead. It's not until Monday of next week that we might start to see a wintry southerly in New Zealand. And speaking of wintry weather, this big high pressure zone in Australia bringing some cold weather across the eastern side over the next couple of nights. Temperatures down below five degrees along this eastern side. Uh, inland areas of New South Wales and Queensland could be down below zero or at least very close to it as that high rolls on through. But the high doesn't really reach New Zealand. Instead, we've got the windy westerlies on the southern edge of it. So blowing through Victoria, Tasmania and across over the North and South Islands. Classic autumn weather to see the windy westerlies and the cold fronts over there on that western side. As we move through the week, no real change, although that high from Aussie does just start to nudge the top of the North Island. That just eases the winds a little bit and it reduces the risk of showers. But the further down you go, the more likely you are to see the rain. And it's similar to Australia, Victoria, Tasmania, even parts of South Australia caught up in that same windy westerly. And it turns a little bit southwest here on Thursday but eases across Victoria, but it remains windy in New Zealand still, especially the South Island. A lot of rain this week on the West Coast and a lot of windy westerlies really across the South Island and both Fovo Strait and Cook Strait also getting those winds up to gale force at times. And then we head towards the end of the week as we go into New Zealand's long weekend. High pressure from Aussie is still out there in Aussie. It's affecting the top of New Zealand only just, and in fact more so, in fact less so I should say on Friday, as we see more of those southwesterly winds pushing back in again. So the high kind of gets pushed back north. Uh, windy weather across the whole country on Friday with showers and uh, eastern areas mostly dry as a result of those, um, the direction of the wind in the mountains and ranges. So as we go into the weekend, the high from Australia tries its best to settle our weather down. And it might be a little bit cooler for some of you, but generally speaking, long dry spells in many places as a cold southerly with showers moves into Hobart. As we go through to Sunday though, this is the precursor for the cold blast coming through, we think on Monday. It's not totally locked in just yet, but it's showing up in our data. If you look at rural weather or weather watch, you can see it in the forecasts for Monday of next week. On Sunday, the temperatures start to drop in the south. The windy conditions move northwards because that's high pressure. So you've got a squash zone now, a westerly squash zone between the high and the low right over central New Zealand for Sunday. Mostly dry for the North Island, mostly dry for eastern parts of the South Island as well. But it all changes on Monday if this modeling is correct. So, um, you know, it's seven days away, things can still move around. So we'll take a couple more days, probably till Wednesday this week to lock it in. But you can see what is showing up for Monday next week, a rapidly deepening southerly, uh, sorry, low, which produces a southerly into the South Island. Windy westerlies for the North Island, probably a few thunderstorms, but we'll have to wait, like I say, a couple more days to lock it in. But that big high over towards Tasmania, shaped north to south, that is definitely a um, big part or a big component of getting that southerly, more Antarctic air getting into that southerly flow. So Monday next week could be quite a bit colder than what we've been experiencing. Like I say though, not 100% locked in. Give us a couple more days to do that. And of course you can track it uh, in our weather forecast at Weather Watch and Rural Weather. It goes out for 10 days. Now before I go, uh, speaking of stormy kind of weather, a big thank you to Huffer for sending us through um, the Storm Shell Jacket, which is a great name for a jacket, the Storm Shell Jacket from Huffer. Um, I'll probably be wearing that one on Monday. At least I would if I was in the South Island. I'm in Auckland, it may not be cold enough just yet, but we'll see. Uh, even the North Island, likely to see the temperature drop. So thanks to the team at Huffer, and thank you everyone for watching. We'll be back again tomorrow, Tuesday, with our next update. We'll see you then.